A local high school that brought in a motivational speaker is being questioned now after some students and parents found the presenter offensive. Vicksburg High School invited the speaker out on Tuesday. 24 Hour News 8's Brady Gillum spoke with everyone involved today. He's live in Vicksburg with the latest. Well, Sue, Brian, good evening. It's here at Vicksburg High School where the principal brought in a speaker who left some students feeling uncomfortable. Ryan Bomberger is a motivational speaker who says he's spoken in front of thousands of students, but it wasn't until his presentation at Vicksburg High School on Tuesday where he says he experienced such a negative reaction. The venomous uh, responses on social media really unfortunately were poor reflection on Vicksburg. After his presentation, Vicksburg Community Schools posted this message on its Facebook page, apologizing that people were offended, saying in part, the presentation given instead ranged into topics that were overtly political and were discomforting to many students and staff. Superintendent Charles Glace says the presentation was supposed to provide kids a message of hope and inspiration. The difficulty, I believe, is that we ended up bringing in a speaker uh, where if you go beyond what was heard and look at the website, lots of people are going to be very alarmed. Bomberger co-founded the Radiance Foundation. There are plenty of pro-life videos and statements on its website and Facebook page, but Bomberger says he gave the principal a detailed outline of what he was going to say. It was not political in nature. There's no religion. There is no mention of abortion, no mention of pro-life or, or pro-choice or LGBT, none of that at all. It was an apolitical, very life-affirming message presented. It's just really problematic. Oliver Maxa is a student at the high school who identifies as male and transgender. Started with talking about adoption and how it's a wonderful thing, and I completely agree with that. The problem is, is that after we figured out who he was on his website and everything that this organization stands with. I don't believe there was any use of key words that would have been very divisive. Uh, however, I believe that we just have to do a better job of making sure that we don't bring in people who have a very strong political agenda. It's a shame that a vocal minority can can so distort something uh, to make it out something that it that truly was not. Now, the student you heard from in the story says he isn't mad at the school. He just blames the speaker who mischaracterized what was going to be said. As the speaker, he says everything went according to plan. Reporting live in Vicksburg, Brady Gillum, 24-Hour News 8.